Hello, welcome to my channel. In this video, I will show you how to crochet this beautiful, airy angel, which is about 12 inches tall. I am going to crochet the angel using my 1.95 millimeter hook and um, white cotton crochet thread size 10. I will also need a little yarn uh, for the hair of the angel. We'll start working here on top of the head and we'll be making the head and the body using single crochet stitches and working in rounds. And then without cutting thread, we'll continue making the skirt. I will start with a magic loop, which I make this way. Another option will be to make chain six and uh, make a, a ring out of it. Now in this magic loop, I'll make six single crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'll close it and make a slip stitch in the first single crochet. So I still have six. In the next round, there will be 12. So I will be making a single crochet, two single crochets in each single crochet. So I have made two, four, six, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 12 single crochets. Now I am going to start using the end of the thread as a marker to know where I started around. And in the next round, I will be making 18 single crochets. So this way, in the first single crochet I'm making one, in the second one two, one in one, in the second one two. This way instead of two, every two single crochets I'm making three. One, two, one, two, and two more times, one, two, one, and two. I will reposition my marker and uh, we'll be making 24 single crochets in the next round this way, one, one, and two in the next stitch. One, one, two in the following stitch. Instead of every three, I'm making four stitches. One, one, and two. One, one, two, one, one, two, and uh, for the last time, one stitch, one stitch, and two stitches. In the next round, there will be 30 single crochets so we'll be making one 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 single crochet and two in the next one 
one, 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 two in the following stitch. Instead of four, we are making five this way. One, 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 and two. One, 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 and two. And two more times. One, 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 two, one, 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 and two. And now we are making the last round uh, where we increase the number of stitches. This time we'll start with four single crochets, stitch and stitch, and two in the fifth one. Four, one in one. And two in the next stitch. Instead of five, we are make, making six single crochets. One, two, three, four, and, and two. One, two, three, four and two and we are almost done with this round one two three four two in the next stitch and uh, one two three four and now the last two we have made six rounds so far and in the last round there are 36 stitches now we need to make five more rounds of 36 single crochets so just work in circles without any changes until you make 11 rounds and then i will show how to continue making the head. I have finished those 11 rounds and can now start making decreases, uh, which will be making the same way, basically mirroring what we did before. We'll start with one, two, three, four, single crochets and then two single crochets together instead of six we have made five now one two three four and two together another five and four more times two three four two together one, two, three, four, two together. And continue the round the same way. Four stitches, two together. Four stitches. and the last two together this time i'm not going to reposition my marker i'll just continue working in the next round we'll be making 24 stitches this way one two three and two together instead of five i'm making four one two three, two together, 
वन टू थ्री टू टुगेदर थ्री सिंगल क्रेशेस टू टुगेदर एंड टू मोर टाइम्स वन टू थ्री टू टुगेदर वन टू three and two together we will now begin the round of 18 single crochets so we'll be making one two and two together single crochets one two two together instead of four we are making three six times one two two together one two two together one two two together and the last time one two and the last two one more round of decreases will be the round of 12 stitches so we'll make one single crochet and two together one two together one two one two one two and uh, the last time one and two we now need to stop and uh, first put this end of the thread inside the head and fill the head with something i'm using this uh, fiber fill and a little straw to make work easier like this the head has a good shape and um, I can start making the last round of the head of decreases which will consist of six single crochets which means I will be making two single crochets together one consisting of two together two three four five and six six single crochets and uh, we can start the body the body will be very similar to the head but it will be a little narrower made not on 36 stitches but on 30. so in the first round of uh, the body we need to make 12 single crochets so in each of these six i will be making two one two in the next stitch three four i don't have my marker anymore i will just be counting six of course you can always use um, a, a marker a, a pin or um, a piece of thread but i will be counting ten and 12 12 single crochets now in the first of them i will make one in the second i will make two i'm making three stitches on every two so i have made three now 
four and uh, five and six. Seven, eight and nine, two in one stitch, ten, eleven, and twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. 16, 17, and 18. We have made a round of 18 stitches. The next, we'll have 24 single crochets. So we are making one single crochet in a single crochet, one in the next one, and two in the third on three. Stitches I'm making four. One, one, and two. I have made eight stitches in this round so far. One, one, and two. Twelve, one, one, and two, sixteen, one, one, and two, twenty, and uh, one, one, two, twenty four. And we'll make one more round with increases. Uh, we'll be making one, 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 three separate stitches, one and one. And in the fourth one, we'll make two. On every four, we are making five. So I have made the first five. One, two, three, and the two in the next one. I have made 10, 1, 2, 3, and uh, 2, 15, 1, 2, 3, and uh, 2 in the next one, 20. One, two, three, and uh, two in one, twenty-five, and the one, two, three, and two. Thirty single crochets. We have made four rounds, and in the last round, uh, there are 30 single crochet stitches. Now we need to make 13 rounds of 30 stitches uh, to the total of 17 rounds. Continue working on the body, and then when you have 17 rounds, I will show how to continue. I have made 17 rounds of the body and round 18 will be the round of 15 single crochets. So we'll be making two single crochets together all the way around. So this will was number one, two, three, four, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, 
11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. Now we need to stop once again and uh, fill the body with something. Once again, I'm using my fiber fill and a straw. Like this. In the next round, once again, we'll be making two single crochets together, but this time we'll be using only these interior parts of each stitch in order to close the body. And then we'll come back to this exterior sides of each stitch and we'll be using them for the skirt. So, using just one thread, of each stitch I am making two single crochets together. We don't need to count here, we are just going to work until almost everything is closed. Just one stitch, one thread every time try not to get too much of that fiber fill although it is not very important it is going to be under this skirt Maybe one more. Okay, enough. And now we are close to the beginning of, of that previous round where we started using interior sides of each stitch and we need to go back to this first stitch and I will be doing it with loose slip stitches, two or three, using just one or two threads. And now a slip stitch in the first of those stitches where we use just one side, okay? And now we are going to be using these threads to start the skirt. The first round of the skirt, it consists of 15 double crochets with chain 3 between them. Instead of the first double crochet, we'll make chain 3 and chain 3 for separation. Now in the next stitch, just one thread, we'll make another double crochet, chain 3 using next stitch one thread only another double crochet chain three the next double crochet chain three and continue working like this making double crochets in each stitch um, with chain three between them except for the very end when you make 15 double crochets i'll show you how to finish this round at the end of the round after double crochet number 15 instead of chain three we are making chain one and we'll start a double crochet we'll insert the hook in the third beginning chain of the round and then we'll pull the hook through all the threads making a half double crochet this way we ended the round in the middle of this chain three where we need to be 
in round two, we'll start making these elements of the pattern, which we'll continue making throughout the skirt. Each round will start with chain three instead of the first double crochet, and then chain three. Then in the top of this first double crochet, we'll make a double crochet which we won't finish and the second double crochet in the same place which we won't finish we'll finish them together pulling the hook through all three threads and we'll make a double crochet in the same place where we started the first double crochet which was chain three uh, this time we'll try to use two threads like this this is the first element two double crochets with two double crochets and chain three between them between those elements in the skirt we'll be making chain five now we'll move on to the next chain three space we'll insert the hook in the second chain and we'll make a double crochet then chain three a double crochet in the top of this double crochet using two threads we won't finish this double crochet we'll start the next one instead we won't finish it and then we'll finish them all together and we'll make another double crochet in the second chain of this chain three space the second element chain five working in the next chain three space making a double crochet in the second of those chains chain three a double crochet using two threads unfinished double crochet and another unfinished double crochet pull the hook through make another double crochet in the same place where we made the first one chain five and one more time insert the hook in the second chain a double crochet chain three a double crochet using two threads one two finish them together and make another double crochet in the same chain chain five there will be 15 elements like this in each round make those 15 elements we have made four make 11 more and then i'll show how to finish the round i have made 15 elements of the pattern and now instead of chain five i will make chain two and a double crochet in the third beginning chain of this round This way, once again, we are in the middle of this space. And now we are going to make 12 more rounds like this. We'll start each round with chain three instead of the first double crochet, and then chain three. Two double crochets, not finished, and then finished together a double crochet in the same place where we started this element chain five moving on to the next chain five space inserting the hook in the third chain and making a double crochet chain three 
a double crochet and another double crochet together and a double crochet in the third chain second element chain five And once again, beginning in the middle of the chain five space, making a double crochet, chain three, two double crochets using two threads, one, two, together, and a double crochet, chain five, and so on continue making these rounds you will need to make 12 more uh, do not forget at the end of each round instead of chain five make chain two and a double crochet here in the third beginning chain everywhere except for the last round in round 14 just make chain five and then i will show how to make the border of the skirt I have finished 14 rounds of the skirt and now can start making a border. Uh, as you can see, here I did not replace chain 5 with chain 2 and a double crochet. I just made chain 5 and a slip stitch in the top of the first double crochet of the round. And now I'll start making single crochets in this chain three space five single crochets one two three four five a slip stitch in the second double crochet of this element in chain five i will be making chain seven one two three four five six seven and a slip stitch in the first double crochet five single crochets in chain three space one two three four five a slip stitch in the second double crochet of this element seven single crochets one two three four five six seven a slip stitch in the first double crochet of the element five single crochets one two three four five a slip stitch in the second double crochet and seven single crochets one two three four five six seven and continue making the border this way at the end of the round make a slip stitch at the beginning of the round and the skirt will be ready we'll now start making arms uh, with those uh, decorative elements on the shoulders we'll start making arms here with a magic loop in which we'll make nine single crochets and then we'll be working in rounds um, until we make about 25 rounds of single crochet stitches we'll need the length of about three three and a half inches 
So make a magic loop, please. And um, in the magic loop, nine single crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Close the loop and make a slip stitch in the first of those single crochets. So we still have nine. And now we are working in circles, making a single crochet in each single crochet. like this just make sure you stop from time to time and count the number of stitches that you have in a round uh, because uh, it is quite easy to make an extra stitch or two we need to keep making nine the work will begin to curve very soon so we'll need to start working like this and uh, when you make an inch or so once again stop count uh, the stitches and uh, put a little uh, cotton or fiber fill in the arm it is easier to do as you go instead of filling arms uh, in later when they are long also put this end of the thread inside the arm when you are before you add before you start adding cotton inside okay uh, keep working like this until you have about 25 rounds and then I will show how to make those little decorative wings I have finished making 25 rounds of the arm and now we'll need to make another round because to start those little uh, wings we need to have six instead of nine uh, single crochets so I'll make two single crochets together and one in the next one two together one and two together we have six single crochets left on those single crochets we'll be making six double crochets chain three will replace the first double crochet and chain three will separate those double crochets now we need to turn work over and to work here on the, the inside of uh, the arm so I'm making a double crochet in the next single crochet and now I have two double crochets chain three a double crochet in the next single crochet chain three another double crochet chain three another double crochet chain three and uh, one more double crochet we have made six double crochets now chain three and turning work over we'll start making those elements that we used in the skirt um, we'll make a double crochet in the second of those three chains 
and the chain three and as usual two double crochets finished together in the top of this first double crochet and the second double crochet like this chain three between them now let's make another element in the second of the next three chains a double crochet chain three two double crochets finished together and another double crochet chain three and we'll have five elements like this in this row so a double crochet chain three two double crochets together a double crochet in the same chain chain three A double crochet a double crochet in the middle chain chain three two double crochets and a double crochet chain three and now here we have chain six we'll be making our usual element in the second from the right chain chain three two double crochets A double crochet in the same place and to be symmetrical we'll make another double crochet this time in the fourth chain from the right like this and now on the other side we'll be making the trim in each chain three space we'll be making five single crochets one two three four five a slip stitch in the second double crochet here in chain three space we'll be making four single crochets one two three four a slip stitch in the first double crochet of the element five single crochets in chain three of this element of the pattern five a slip stitch in the second double crochet and the four single crochets one two three four in the next chain three space please continue making the trim of this arm making five alternating groups of five and four single crochets with slip stitches in every double crochet of every element and after that make another arm like this now we'll make a halo which will also start with a magic ring in which we'll make eight double crochets with chain five between so i'm making a magic ring to 
chain three instead of the first double crochet and chain five and seven more double crochets one chain five one more chain five the fourth one chain five now i have made five six Seven, and eight. I'll close the magic ring and uh, instead of last chain five, I will make chain two and a double crochet in the third beginning chain. This is the first round. In the next round, we'll start making the usual elements. So we'll begin with chain three, instead of the first double crochet and chain three, and the two unfinished double crochets worked together, and another double crochet here where we started the first one like this. This time between the elements we'll be making chain three. Now the second element here using the third chain, a double crochet, chain three, two double crochets, a double crochet chain three in the next chain five space using the middle chain we are making again a double crochet chain three two double crochets together and a double crochet chain three continue making this round following this pattern please at the end make chain three and a slip stitch and the third beginning chain and now as usual we are making a border and we'll be using single crochets so in chain three here we are making five single crochets A slip stitch in the second double crochet in chain three space we'll be making four single crochets working pretty tight uh, a slip stitch in the first double crochet of the next group five single crochets in the next chain three space a slip stitch in the next double crochet four single crochets in the next chain three space A slip stitch in the first double crochet five single crochets one two three four five a slip stitch in the second double crochet and one two three four 
single crochets in the next chain three space continue making the border of the halo this way and make a slip stitch at the end of the round instead of the wings we'll just make one big circle for this angel using the same design elements this time we'll start with chain nine one two three four five six seven eight nine which will make into a circle and now including this end of thread in our work we'll be making single crochet stitches we'll need 15 one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen and a slip stitch in the first of this single crochets 15 single crochets in this round now we'll make a round of double crochet stitches with chain seven between them instead of the first double crochet i'm making chain three as usual and now chain seven two four six seven and a double crochet in the next single crochet stitch chain seven three six seven a double crochet in the next stitch chain seven and a double crochet Continue making double crochets and chain seven until you make 15 double crochets. And then I will show how to finish the round. I have made 15 double crochets and now instead of chain seven, I will make chain three and a triple crochet, the one with thread over twice in the third beginning chain like this now we'll start making the same elements that we made everywhere else so we'll start with chain three instead of the first double crochet and chain three and uh, two double crochets finish together and a double crochet in the same place where we started the first double crochet like this chain seven will separate those elements we'll make the next one in the fourth chain double crochet chain three two double crochets a double crochet in the same chain chain seven In the middle of this chain in the fourth chain we are making the next double crochet chain three two double crochets together and a double crochet in the same chain chain seven
continue working this pattern at the end of this round do not forget to make like we did here instead of chain seven make chain three and a triple crochet in the third beginning chain and uh, then make three more rounds like this so at the end you will have these two rounds and four rounds with those elements at the end of the last round do not make chain three and a triple crochet just make chain seven and a slip stitch in the third beginning chain i have made six rounds uh, a round of uh, single crochets a round of double crochets and four rounds of these elements and now can start making the border for which once again i am going to be using single crochet stitches so i'll start with this chain three space and we'll make five single crochets two three four five and a slip stitch in the second double crochet of this element now in chain seven space i'll make nine single crochets one two three four five six seven eight nine a slip stitch in the first double crochet five single crochets in chain three space one two three four five a slip stitch into the second double crochet nine single crochets one two three four five six seven eight nine a slip stitch in the first double crochet five single crochets one two three four five a slip stitch in the second double crochet and nine single crochets one two three four five six seven eight nine a slip stitch and so on continue making the border at the end of the round make a slip stitch in the first double crochet of this first element when we are done with the crocheting part we need to shape the angel i usually use a starch and have a video on my channel called how to shape crocheted items watch it if you want to then make boiled starch soak everything that you made except for the parts that have something inside for a few minutes and then uh, take them out and try to squeeze out as much starch as you can so you would not have starch film between the elements of the design How your angel will look will depend a lot on what you are going to dry it on. You can use any appropriate shape for the skirt, uh, for example, a vase, a bottle. I made uh, my mold using clay and I use a plastic bottle for drying arms. As for um, 
flat parts i just stretch them while they are drying and when um, everything is uh, ready in about 24 hours um, i iron them through cotton cloth the flat parts and also the trim of the skirt and the arms when everything is dry I use a glue gun to put all the parts together, but it can also be done with a needle and some thread. You can also add hair. For hair, I cut thicker thread into equal pieces and then sew them on a small piece of cotton fabric um, using a sewing machine. Once again, it can be done by hand too and then use a glue gun to put the hair on the head. And after that, you can style it the way you want. I just made a simple ponytail here, but it can be done in different ways too. For example, this angel has a braid wrapped around the head. This is it for today. I hope you liked the video and the angel that we made together. If so, please push the like button. And if you have not subscribed to the channel yet, but want to be informed of all the new projects, consider subscribing and pushing the bell button. Thanks for watching this video. See you next time. Bye-bye.